Tomorrow, the Electoral College will cast their votes in the next step in making President-elect Joe Biden's victory official. As of now, President Donald Trump and his allies have lost about 50 lawsuits in his effort to change the outcome of the election. Let's go now to Faith Abube. The 538 members of the Electoral College will cast their votes Monday for president and vice president. The next steps towards making president-elect Joe Biden's victory official. But on Saturday, thousands of people took to the streets in Washington, D.C. in support of President Trump's efforts to change the outcome of the election. Trump and his allies have lost to nearly 50 cases in court since Election Day. No judge, including the Supreme Court of the United States, has had the courage to allow it to be heard. The Supreme Court rejecting a second lawsuit aimed at tossing out millions of votes. The reason the Supreme Court is not taking this is not because of a lack of courage. It's for the same reason that every court has thrown this out. It's a lack of evidence. A judge President Trump appointed in Wisconsin adding one more defeat Saturday, writing in a decision, quote, he has lost on the merits. And justices on the state Supreme Court calling the president's efforts un-American. What you want is you want us to overturn this election so that your king can stay in power. As the president continues to make his baseless claims about a rigged election, Republicans in Georgia are looking to drive voter turnout for two runoff elections. Those races will determine control of the Senate. We want to make sure that the people that vote in this race are Georgians that are voting for their Georgia senators. So making sure we have election integrity up and down the line is very important to us. Georgia's Republican Secretary of State says he expects a large voter turnout. Early voting begins tomorrow. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington.